Did you ever wonder how our cells work? Did you know that our cells are like a stew, doing things such as moving around, eating, and even drinking? Every cell needs to transport various types of molecules and particles, and that process is called bulk transport mechanisms. There are two types of bulk transport mechanisms, the endocytosis and exocytosis. Endocytosis, endo means internal and cytosis means transport mechanisms. Endocytosis is a type of active transport that moves particles by enclosing them in a vesicle made out of plasma membrane. In endocytosis, we have phagocytosis, pinocytosis, and lastly, RME or receptor-mediated endocytosis. Phagocytosis literally means cell eating. It is a form of endocytosis in which large particles such as cell or cellular debris are transported into the cell. The white blood cells, which the protector of our body that can devour a whole bacteria, are called phagocytes. As you can see, there's a dangerous bacteria lurking around and there's a white blood cell that sends the presence of it, enfolding its membrane backwards, then eventually enclosing the bacteria inside the cell. The next one is pinocytosis. If phagocytosis is eating action, pinocytosis on the other hand is drinking. Unlike phagocytosis, Pinocytosis can only engulf small particles and extracellular fluids, that's why it is drinking. Next is receptor-mediated endocytosis. RME or receptor-mediated endocytosis is a form of endocytosis in which receptor proteins on the cell are used to capture a specific target molecules. Another type of bulk transport mechanism is the exocytosis. Exo means external and cytosis means transport mechanisms. Exocytosis is a form of bulk transport in which materials are transported from the inside to the outside of the cell. And that's the end of our little conversation. Hope you understand the bulk transport mechanisms. In case of confusion, you could rewatch this video. That's all. Thanks for watching.